every week. Thank you very much. God bless you. My name is Gloria Taye Bright, indigenous of Kwara State, Ekiti local government from Eruku precisely. I'm a teacher. I used to be a teacher, but I'm here in Lebanon. I signed up this job because I have a challenge. I'm a mother of two. I have two kids, a nine-year-old child and a seven-year-old child. I signed up for this job, and when I came here, the job is not easy at all. I'm not finding it easy. The work I'm doing here is not really good for my health. I have a health challenge, which is a chest pain, and then each time I complained to my madam, she told me that I'm using housekeeper tricks on them, that if I want to go back to my country and take care of myself, I should pay them back their $2,000. Where on earth will I get that money? And I took up this job because I want to fight back for my kids. My kids are with my husband. I saw them last 2017. That was when I saw my kids last. My husband took them away and I don't know where they are. I don't know the address where they are till now. And the last time I told them that I want to see the kids, I want to fight back for my kids, I will swim to court. It let me realize that I don't have the money to do that. That if I have the money, I can go ahead. And when I heard about this job, I see that thing as a good opportunity for me that, yes, let me take up this job. I calculated all the money, that this money will be enough for me to fight back for my kids because my kids are really suffering in the house with a strange woman in the house, you know how it is. My kids are suffering, so I, I pick up this job. I used to be a teacher, but the money they are paying me is 14,000 naira. So with that challenge, I have to pick up this job and say when I come back, I will fight back for my kids, take my kids back to me because they are my strength. They get it to this place, these things is what's the work I'm doing, daily routine. Washing the rocks, washing the floor, washing ceilings and all that. Taking water, like six cans of water upstairs. My health doesn't take that. Even my boss here is always harassing me at times. He tell me to massage him, he hug me, he kiss me. He doesn't go to work early because he's a police officer. The last time he did it, he was like going up and down with pints always in the house. The last time he want to like, fought, like arrest me, like have sex with me, I now told him, I chip in a story, I told him that there used to be a bead on my waist that we, that we are married. Any man that has sex with us in a strange land, it used to be a covenant between me and my husband that the person will run mad for seven days and die the eighth day. Since then, I think that story that I put to him make him to be shocked. He left me alone, but still I'm still seeing those things in his eyes. Anything can happen. And he's always with his gun by his side. Even last night, I thought I would die. For a week now, I've not been fine. My chest is very heavy. When I cough, I cough out blood sometimes. My breathing is low. My breath is very low. I can't breathe very well. I don't want to die in a strange land. Let me go back to my home and die. Let me die well. At least see my children because that is where I'm here. The little money I have, at least I just got a month's salary. I was here October. I can fight back for my children. Take them back. Project Ferry, please help me out. I'm dying. I'm dying. Please. My health is not okay at all. Please.